Somebody IDP walk, as you can see there. Let's um, listen to um, the change we are trying to make. Tell us, you got something to say? Yes, yes. Like, just like my brother Peter said, okay. it is very important for us to support this cause. Very, very important. You know, you can imagine when we have people in their country and they are refugees. It's not a good thing at all. Please, let's do it. Let's do it. This is just the beginning. We have many, many programs to do in the future. Join us. Really. Thank you. So I will be doing the live. It's not going to be funny because uh, it's, the weather is really cold. <laughs> so my hands are going to be freezing. So you pardon me if I go off and I come back on. But as you're watching, you're doing Michael, Tolu, Lokwe, Femi, I will call you here, here, for the walk. Michael, if you're doing, please, 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 I beg of you, go on to that GoFund page. Just click on it. Support the IDPs, please. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you, you're doing. Well done, guys. Every little help. I like that. Thank you, you're doing. Please help us to share this on your wall. And please, please, I know we all can be out there, but please go on to the GoFund page. Click on it. It just takes less than two minutes. To just support us. Um, we started this last year with all our other organizations. It's a diaspora project. We started and um, we, we were able to go to the camp last year, December, and we donated the little we can based on what you people supported us. So please, please and please go on to that page. We're just waiting in another 15 minutes. We will go straight onto our route and we'll just start and it's going to be shown live. Your Miko Iki um, is here to show me life. Yes. <laughs> so just to... um, <laughs> if Prince is going to be cold, I'm not going to be cold. I can tell you that <laughs> this is going to be all the way through. Fantastic. We've done this before. Um, it's going to be all the way through in terms of the live streaming. I know Prince might probably come off, but you'll be able to continue to watch it live on Olayo Miko Iki all the way through. I can assure you that. Fantastic. Thank you. You can see the support. You're going. Bola, Olivia, thank you. Thank you. If you can't connect on to mine, just go to your meet. Koiki, like your meet Koiki. It's going to be live all through. The reason that I might not be able to is because it's going to be cold. And I don't have all my apparatus. As you can see, your meet is already because it's the media person. It's our official media person. It's already for us. So you can connect on to Olayami Koiki. But please, most importantly, Support us. Going on to the go, uh, go from page, even if yes. it's one pound, imagine. They say we have two million unregistered Nigerians. If everyone donates one pound, imagine where Guys. that will go. Yeah. Thank Can you, you Femi Oshinubi. Thank you so much for connecting on to us. Thank Please go on to the GoFund go page James. to support us. Please. Go and if this go camera page. goes off, like Hold I said, on. connect on to Olayomi Koikis. Who is our official media person? Is going to be, is all dressed warm, ready for us. <laughs> so it's going to be showing us live all the way. So we're starting from Thamesmi Central, and we're going to connect all the way to O2. We're walking down to O2 Power Walk. We have about 10 minutes more. We're just waiting for a few people more because of the weather. It has um, um, taken us back another 10-15 minutes, and I'm sure by the time we start, you see us doing what we what we plan to do by walking power walk all the way to 10 uh, to O2. Thank you. You got something yes. to say? Yeah. We're ready to go, guys. Um, yes, um, you know, for people that are on your way, I want you to just keep coming. Oh. We're going to go ahead according to uh, the as we have already planned, and I don't want us to think because the weather is not as good as you expected that um, we should stay back. I want you to come out. Let's support our fellow um, Nigerians. The other day when I saw the news, I saw things that are very, very horrible. We saw our own people killing each other. You know, we have to show love for the country. We have to show love for the fellow citizens. This is not about the government. This is not, this is about human beings. This is about people that are in their own country and they feel no unsafe. This is about people that can't even sleep in their own home, in their own country. So I want you to go and support us, go online, give us some um, support. It's not about us, it's about the people that need it most. Because there are people that are in a situation where the government don't even know where they are. 
we have a, a gentleman here that has been to Nigeria. He was on ground, he saw what happened. And the news was really bad. The other day I saw on video, I, I saw a picture of a little child that his eyes, you know, the two high balls were taken out, which I don't think it should be happening. The other day there was a there was a pregnant woman that I barely was was caught open. You know, these are things that are, are very, 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 very sad. So please, wherever you are all over the world, I want you to support uh, support our, our our fellow Nigerians. And please, if you're on your way, keep coming. We're waiting for you. We're going to start the work in the next few minutes. And nothing is going to hold us back. Thank you. Well, I'm sure uh, for those of you uh, at home, uh, it is cold, we can tell you that. But the most important thing is, like I've said on so many times, um, it's easy for us to stay behind the computer without doing something. You know, just a little help, you know, has been doing something. And likewise, millions of different NGOs, I can tell you, I've said it so many times, millions of Nigerians are doing great things. But we must also support the government, you know, to, to, to sort out some of this mess, you know, that we already know about. Uh, once again, um, this is going to be all the way through to Oto Arena. It's about two hours walk. Uh, we're prepared. Um, we're only going to be doing this for two hours. But what about those that are also um, living, you know, day in, day out, with no electricity, uh, with no access to the internet as well? So the reason why, you know, the idea, you know, the just a little help, I've decided to bring this initiative is to at least take something back home and then help those. They were in Abuja last year, and I'm sure a lot of you saw that as well. Once again, my name is Olao Mikoiki. We'll be bringing this all the way through. We've got more people coming up as well. There's more people turning up. And the most important thing is continue to share the video and also go into the GoFundMe page that has been set up. I said it again, they're having another immigration surgery on the 3rd of February. This is still also to help those. As we're helping those back in Nigeria, we're also helping a lot of Africans. Immigration is one of the biggest problems in this country. And I've said it so many times, like my mom used to say if you were not born in this country you will definitely go through immigration immigration is not a disease but if you don't speak out then you get stuck in it as i am just a little help is also planning the february third immigration surgery we're also going to be using that to help those inside the country so as we're helping those outside we're also helping those inside so make sure you invite your friends and family and enjoy this beautiful walk as we are walking all the way through in the next 10 minutes or so. Thank you very much for those of you that have logged in already. I can assure you, if they're gonna be cutting out in about a few minutes, this particular one is well prepared. Uh, and I'd also like to say a big thank you to uh, you know my very good brother there that sent me this while I was in Nigeria. As you can see, he's already been walking. It's a very, very, very powerful power bank, uh, you know, and you know yourself. Thank you very much. I received this when I was in Nigeria. That tells you that, you know, we can do a little bit to help each other. 36 states as well is still loading. But for now, it's the IDP work. And I can assure you that during the period of time that I'll be traveling through the 36 states, I will also end up going through all this IDP camp. Once again, we hope by the end of this year, the whole two million, we already have a place called home. Without a home, there is nothing we can do than continue to raise the awareness about it. Thank you very much for those that have joined in so far. This is the first of so many works we do this year, all these are of ID here. There is no fire. Still live, all the way in Pensley. Um, the journey should be taking us about two hours. As you can see, the men are already prepared in their beautiful outfit and also in their well dressed, and warm. Um, you know, the weather is getting a little bit much better. Um, you know, as you can see, I already had the umbrella just to cover the phone, but we might not need that. But the most important thing is, and um, thank you all the way from Nigeria, Olani and Yusuf for joining us. Uh, this is the IDP walk. But it's going to take us about two hours or so, all the way from so Tensmate into yeah? O2. Three minutes, to go, yeah? uh, three minutes to go, we're going to start moving. And then, um, you know, we will also um, expect those that want to join us, might have to join us along the route. But we're still going to be 
here for the next three minutes before we take off. Once again, my name is Olayomi Koiki, bringing this very beautiful 2018. As I said to you, there's a lot going to be happening in 2018, and this is just the beginning of it. Oh, once again, for those of you at home, um, following us, what we expect you to be doing as well, we want you to continue to share the page, share also the link, um, invite all your friends, your family, let us make this a very beautiful one for those back home that are really going through all kind of, not just only in Nigeria, we also have to remember there's a lot of, you know, IDPs, other countries as well but the most important thing is as we are doing this let us also continue to work with the government of the day to do the right thing for the people back home um, Africa is the hub of the world and until we understand that we will not solve the whole problem that we've got right now um, it's the IDP work 2018 uh, we're gonna be moving in just about a few minutes I might not need my umbrella to cover the phone but I still have it there just in case Wow. Once again, um, it is cold, but we will do what we have to do so that um, you know those back home knows that um, you know we're there, you know to support them. And like I said, um, uh, take us back. What happened there? Well, um, the situation that where I mean, thank you very much, um, Juliet Macapila. Uh, what has actually happened? The reason why we have you know IDP camps all over the country uh, is. The reason of the you know the Boko Haram that took place you know a few years back, and uh, we now have you know four million of IDPs, internal displaced people that are all over the 36 state of the country. Uh, we know the government is fighting to make sure the Boko Haram is eradicated, but what about those that are now kept in the camp? You know, there's an estimate of about two million. You know, with the young, the old, you know, so it's become you know a, a big problem. We know the you know the outside world are also doing what they can do to help, but it is also the responsibility of every one of us as a citizen of that country to continue to be an advocate for humanity. And this is one of the reasons why you know this has been set up. You know, they had a sleep uh, outside just about a few hours outside last year. But this is a different initiative. Um, the IDP issues is a very, very, you know, we know it's a big issue, but the most important thing is some of these projects like this will also bring awareness, you know, to the government of the day, to those outside, to say, look, you know, we can't continue having two million of our citizens not living properly in houses that they should be. Once again, um, we're going to be taking off in just about a few minutes, but right now, we're still here at the Thames meet where we hope um, the work will give us about two hours. You know, that's if we walk very cold. It's cold out there, but the most important thing is that I need to give you the live feed. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, you know, Mr. Dario Falabi there, and that's Prince Ararami. And we also have you know, some of the three big gentlemen that have joined us as well. Uh, someone I've just asked quickly, um, how did we get to the situation where we have a lot of IDP you know, all over the country. If you just want to give us a little bit of recap of what has made, you know, this situation where there's now IDPs all over the country. Yeah. One, lack of love. If we love each other, we love our brothers, we are brother people, we won't be in this situation. I've been on the ground. I've been with the kids. If you are on my web, well, Facebook page, you see the videos I had with them there. If you get there, you feel it. You will cry. If you see kids without hope, They've lost their parents, father, mothers, nobody for them. Who can be there for them if not us? That's why we are saying we need to do more than what we can do. What we've been doing, we've been trying, but can do more. We need to give that little help. We need to be there for them. That's why we are saying come out, join this war. If you can't be here, go and go fund it. Give out whatever you can give. No amount is too small to support these kids. They need us. They need us. Even, you know, God says, when I need food, did you give me food? It's not God you are giving. The next person you can help, that's the person you are giving. When you give, then you are doing it to God. So you just know any other reason not, not to be there. Thank God you are not in that situation. But people there, we can alleviate it. We can help them. We can show them love. 
we can stop all these things going on in our only two weeks. That's what we are trying to do. We are doing the work now. We need to work. You can join us. You can join us next time. You can join us. You can support us. Go so go how many of these are we looking at between now and end of the year in terms of now this is going to be the first in so many of that. When should we be expecting the next one again and how many do we think we should Another have? one is happening next month. I can tell you maybe we are going to have a level but I have more that the level works. But the most important thing is being there for them, support them, donate your own mites and then let them know you care. And that's all we want to do. So we are about to do the work. That's we are warming up. That's see it. you on the journey, guys. Well, we're gonna just be moving just about a few minutes as you can see there, you know, tease power work for IDP 2018, raising awareness and funding. Um, the link has already been put out there, so make sure as you're watching as well, continue to click that link and also continue to share the video. Thank you all the way from Lagos, Illumide Balogun. You know, thank you very much for those of you that have joined. This is going to be a two hours walk. Invite as many of your friends and also, also, also continue to go into that GoFundMe page. Um, this is, uh, you know, all the way from Thamesmate to O2 Arena and there's also t-shirt um, available uh, for £10 and much sure also um, just a little help as we're helping those back home they're also going to be having the first immigration surgery which is coming up next month as well on the 3rd of February so for those of you that think well they're only helping those back home we're also helping those here as well if you know people that have immigration problem they don't know where they are what they are their case is what their situation is with the home office it's an avenue for you to have one-on-one -on -one talks with them. They'll check your file for you, tell you where we are, where you are with them. And even if you have questions, you want to know what's happening in the immigration room, the new rules here, everything will be stated there. There are going to be seasonal lawyers there that will be giving their services free of charge on that day, free consultation. Wow. You don't want to miss it. Thank if you're a business owner and you don't want to go foul of the law, you need to be there and listen and hear what you need to do so that you don't get foul of the law. So that if you invite somebody who is in legal, you know what it costs, you need to know more, you need to ask questions. Even you that are legal, what do you think your right is? How can you help your people back home so that you won't go against the law? Everybody is invited. It's going to be taught of February next month from 11 to 2. It's a short time, a short period, within three, four hours we are through. So you need to be there. But most importantly, the IDP is an ongoing campaign. We need to support them. We need to help somebody. You can come out and sponsor one child there, send them to the education. It will be very, very appreciated, you know. You just have to be there and be there with us. Just a little help for the high DP. It's a going, ongoing things. You can't say you can't say you're not part of it. Because when your neighbors is suffering, you are suffering too. You just need to give that lead. let them lead on you, you know. You say lean on me when you are not strong. I'll be your friend. You can lean on me. Let them lean on you. That's just what we're asking. You can join the work. You can come, go to the GoFundMe page, and do what? Add the donation. Make the donation. No amount is too small. Thank you very much. Let me just yeah. quickly speak to um, you know the gentlemen that have just come in. I, I know you know you were just coming in as well. If you just want to tell the viewers your name and one reason why you believe that you should be taking this work. Uh, okay, my name is Salah Omiyayani. Uh, I'm rep uh, representing Buckingham Every Club, uh, supporting IDP. Uh, the reason why we are here is to help in a little way that we can help uh, by uh, uh, being part of the work and uh, supporting financially as well. Well, thank you very much as well. Um, let's get you as well to tell the viewers that are watching us um, if you just want to tell your name and one reason why you believe you've got to take this work to support the IDP back home. Okay. Um, my name is Olumi Wafalode um, and I am going to borrow the Tesco mantra which is every little help. Um, whatever we can do to help people back at home. Um, I know it's a very difficult thing for somebody to actually lose their home and to have to go to a foreign land because people who are displaced have to move to a different state which to a certain extent and to a lot of them is a foreign foreign land to them although it's within the same country so whatever we can do to support them 
I think it's important and um, I also feel that those of us who are in the position to make a difference to the lives of people who need assistance we ought to do it um, I, I, I give glory to God that I have two feet I can walk and I can walk to, 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 to support whatever it is I can support and in this case it's the IDP well, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for joining all the way from US, uh, Paul. Make sure you continue to share the page, as you can see, and the men's are ready. And we're just a few minutes away from taking off, um, as you can see there, that's, uh, you know, Prince Arano, no, no. <laughs> also uh, uh, do, uh, Ms. Dr. Dayo Flavia as well. Uh, please, uh, you know, yes, it's, a, it's, it's not just about Nigeria alone. There's a lot of, you know, people that are, you know, displaced all over the world, but the one that we're thinking of and we're working towards now is to get the two million Nigerians, you know, um, to make sure that uh, you know they're actually uh, being assist, you know, in whatever way that it is. Once again, uh, we're just going to be moving from this location in just about a few minutes from now. I can tell you that uh, we are all set. And um, for those of you that are at home, uh, what you could do is to um, make sure you let's go this yeah. uh, in just about a few minutes now we will be moving from this location as you can see all the men are ready i've been told uh, we've got a few few women that will be joining us along the route as well uh, if you also uh, want to invite friends and family it's a beautiful sunday uh, tell someone in your church that we're doing an IDP walk. Invite your friends, invite your pastors. Tell all the, um, the uh, Salatu, not just in London here, yeah, but all over the world. And also tell um, someone to tell someone that um, just a little help, you know, is having a very beautiful walk, you know, for the next two hours as we're moving from this location in Thamesme. We'll be moving straight to O2 Arena. And as we're going, uh, we will meet up with a lot of people, I can tell you that, and they will ask questions and we'll be able to tell them you know, why we are taking this beautiful awareness that we should be uh, telling the whole world about it. And uh, right now, we're just a few minutes uh, from moving from here. And, and, and Once if, again, uh, my name. And if I may say, I mean, I know a lot of people are sitting at home cozy. The best thing you can do, go to the page, go fund us, even if it's a pound, if it's two pounds, if it's five pounds, whichever way you can support, at least you know you've done your bit. We're doing our bit by walking. You do your bit by supporting us. Give us whatever you can give us. And God bless you as you do that. Well, thank you very much. Uh, you can see um, we are just a few minutes away moving um, again as usual this is going to be a live coverage all the way to O2 Arena uh, if you also um, want to know more about just a little help uh, you can go to their uh, Facebook page or just type in um, www. and just a little help and uh, you'll be able to know more about some of the projects that they've done in the past and also um, some of the programs that will be coming up. Uh, there's another one coming up uh, next month, which is going to be the immigration surgery, which um, will tell a lot of our African uh, brothers and sisters that are struggling with their immigration status right here in the United Kingdom. Immigration, we've said it so many times, is one big area that uh, is giving us a lot of concern uh, because if you're not legally, uh, uh, if you don't have the legal status in this country, there's a lot of things that you're restricted from. So please tell your friends that just a little help as well as they're helping those back home in terms of um, you know the IDP. They're also helping those right here in the United Kingdom to know more about their immigration. And the UK will be coming out of EU very soon. Uh, we need to know what are the things that might affect you. Are you someone that have a business in this country and you're thinking, you know, what are the immigration status? You know, you might just have your friends or your family working with you without a legal status. You're also putting yourself in a very, very difficult situation. So, but for now, thank you for joining all the way from Ogun State, Mr. Samuel Olatunde, 
one of the uh, Greek experts in Abekuta. Uh, for those of you that are still thinking, how can we get involved in terms of agriculture? You should be speaking to Samuel Olatunde. Uh, a lot of my interview with him is already on YouTube uh, while he was explaining to me the challenges, the opportunities, and the way forward in terms of agriculture, not only in Ogun State, but all over Nigeria. Uh, we will be engaging more with Mr. Samuel Olatunde, but for now you can watch some of the interview that I did with him while I was at his farm at Kobakwe local government in Abekuta. But right now, we would like to say a big thank you to everyone that have logged in. Uh, make sure you don't touch that DAO. There is no other page that you have to be than this particular one because this is raising awareness for what is happening in Nigeria. Yes, Nigeria is one of the biggest countries uh, that everyone believes that right now we shouldn't be in the situation where we are. But here we go. We have where we are. But that doesn't mean we cannot help those back home. Once again, my name is Ola Yomikoike. We should be taking off in just about a few minutes. Uh, we've got a few more calls that are coming through saying, just give us a few minutes. Um, the work should be taking us from here to um, Woolish uh, Ferry. And by the time we come out from Woolish Ferry, we'll be heading straight all the way to O2 Arena. Um, as you can see, let me switch up um, my, my phone so that you can see me and see as you can see we've got the you know the umbrella just to protect the phone uh, from the rain and the rain is actually gone down a little bit but i still have to protect this very beautiful phone <laughs> maybe somebody might invest in getting me one of the other new iphone so that we can bring the best out of it again but for now um, the 36 state project is still ongoing thank you very much uh, mr ayogundi it was a nice hearing your view and Prince Eze in Naya Cho last night. Uh, what a very beautiful topic, uh, you know, Prince Eze. Um, the question is, maybe Juliet Macapilla might be able to help us here. People have been asking Prince Eze, and I'm sure a lot of us have been asking the same question. Why do we reason the way we reason? Is it because we're outside the country? Uh, I'm sure Juliet Macapilla might want to type something there quickly and let the audience know that. We are not thinking the way we are thinking because we are outside the country. We are also thinking the way you guys are thinking wherever you are all over the world. No one's thinking is better than any other person. So this was one of the discussions last night and I'm sure uh, Mr. Ayo Gutimu might also want to elaborate on that. Um, you know, as you can see, um, we're here, you know, we, we could have decided to be in our own comfort home. You know, I've traveled three hours, you know, I love going on the bus, it's like a sightseeing. I came all the way from Edmonton, I left my house at exactly 10 o'clock in the morning and I was here just before 1 o'clock. Like I said, we're doing this not just for ourselves but for the future generation because one day that guy, that little boy that you think is in the IDP might one day watch this video and say there are some people that raise their self to make sure we are not left alone. We won't leave anybody alone as they are helping those back home, we are also helping those right here in the United Kingdom. Once again, it's the IDP work. I can see uh, DJ Kashi. Let's just switch the camera. Uh, he's just coming in. Thank you very much. Uh, I know yeah. I've not even let you settle in. <laughs> One quick question. Yeah. Why do you support the project this afternoon? Yeah, I think uh, it's very, very important that um, all of us in diaspora, we need to give back to our community back home in Nigeria because um, it's a very devastating situation in Nigeria at the moment and um, Nigeria needs all of us in this country. Thank you very much, and um, that is um, DJ uh, Kasher just you know checking in into this location. Um, we will be moving, uh, like I said, a uh, few people have called. We, you know, we did mention that we'll be leaving here at exactly 1 p.m. But um, you know, we are just. I can see uh, Daisy, Daisy, my, my my lovely sister there. Um, the last time I saw her was at the event in the Kent. What's going on? Okay, um, my fellow ladies, what's happening? Where are you guys? Okay, tell us the reason why you're supporting this beautiful project this afternoon. Okay, one of the organizers is my very big brother and he's an ex-me. We went to Mayflask together, Dabaromi. 
and um, he called me the last one you guys had um, sleep. the sleep something I was yeah. like oh, because I was working so I said this one I'll try and join it so when I saw yesterday that was gonna rain and everything I called him I said it's gonna rain but then because the promise is a promise uh, and I believe in the project you know anything to give back which I do myself in Nigeria but it's just um, I try not to publicize it um, publicize it too much because um, a lot of people thinking because of social media now that it's more of show up and it's not because of that it's like when we do things like this and you show it to the world you let people know what you're doing and it encourages people to do more as well because um, the little one I was doing before seeing other people doing it made me to like you know what I can even do more and some people are out there that um, they actually want to do something like this but they don't have the willpower so when they see people like us doing it they prefer to support financial and everything so that you can help them achieve their own aim so um, I believe in charity and um, it's a good thing that we black community are doing more because I remember a lot of us before always think that um, uh, when you just give your family back home money you know when you talk about charity to black people they say ah I have my family in Nigeria that I'm feeding. It's not about feeding your families right now. It's about you know giving back to the community. Whatever we make here, you know, take it back home. That people really suffering, less privileged and everything. So it's a good thing. I'm so happy to be part of this. It's just that I'm the only female, so obviously, uh, and, I, and I know next next time a lot of people will join in. The rain has put a lot of people off. Anyway, you know, it's winter, but it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. So. People out there, please do come and join us next time when you hear things like this. Come and join us. I know some of us, you put money into the, what's it called, the other charities, international charities. Let's support our own. Please, let's do more of this. Well done, everybody. And I'm so happy to be part of this. My name is Dazzling Daisy. Thank you. That's That's my uh, we're moving now from this. Uh, we're, we're, we're moving now um, all the way. Um, we should be out of here. If you're still thinking of joining us, you might not be able to join us from this location anymore because we're now moving out of here, um, start taking that little bit of walk all the way to Oto Arena. If you think nothing is impossible or nothing is uh, not workable, I can tell you this journey will take us all the way to Oto Arena as we're moving out of here in just about a few minutes. Once again, my name is... Nico, you keep bringing it live all the way from Thames Street. Um, it is very cold. It is raining as well. As you can see, I've got the umbrella just to protect the phone uh, because I haven't got anybody that is promising me another phone right now. Uh, this phone I've done over 100 or more videos while I was in Nigeria. Once again, my name is Olayo Mikoiki. It's the IDP 2018 work, uh, which has been uh, by the Just a Little Help um, giving back you know, to Nigeria. By the ferry, by the ferry, that's where the river Thames ends, the walk path. They will now come out onto the main road. They will just keep on a one file or something on the mirror. I just keep walking down. Yeah, it's estimated to be about one hour 50 minutes. But please, emphasis on power walk because the slower we are, the more colder we get. Mm. So let's as fast as we can. I've got a yeah. couple of waters in my bag for anybody that's here. Great. If you need it, just let me know. That's what I'm carrying the bag. Yeah. Yeah. In case of any other thing, please. If you feel that you can't, I'm sure we are all fit I'm and we're all ready to. Well. You're yeah. first aider, I'm a first aider. So we have okay, enough people. Yeah, okay. Fantastic. So we have more than enough people to know what to do at times. Any questions, any complaints, any comments? No? Fantastic. So we're good to go, yeah? Yes. Let's move it. Let's move it. Do we have someone in case someone falls into labor? It's going to fall into labor. Do we have someone to help? I will first aid that. If it's you, I will help. Did somebody fall into labor on the plane now? Let's go, guys. Let's go, guys. Here we go. We're moving now all the way from Tim Smith. Um, you'll be watching this feed as we're heading out um, all the way through. As we're now moving from here with the first journey, the first leg of just a little help uh, giving back to the IDP 
back home in Nigeria. Once again, you can sit down and enjoy. You get a tea and coffee uh, if you're in Nigeria. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people love their. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to <laughs> emphasize on that. But people back home knows what they drink. I love taking um, Origin Zero, not the one with the alcohol. But I'm sure a lot of people are also enjoying Origin Zero as we're heading out now. Um, it's two hours walk, uh, but we tend to move as quickly as possible. We'll be coming out of um, Woolwich Ferry, where we hope to then get into the main road that will be taking us all the way into um, O2 Arena. Once again, um, as you can see, we've got the you know the, the journey I've just started. Uh, we've got a few more people that are still coming at the back, but right now. I'm just behind. I'm uh, trying to get all the all the view. Uh, nothing is not easy. Nothing comes easy. But let's remember that we have two millions of our citizens that have been displaced all over the 36 states of the country. Um, we should be back in Nigeria very soon as well to start the first leg of my 36 state project and that will also be taking me to some of the camps and also showcasing the best of the country but as you can see now you're watching a live feed as we're heading out into this very beautiful IDP walk I will try and get myself in the front but I am being led by Prince Ararami, who is the one of the co uh, coordinator of this just a little help. It's two hours work, but I'm sure we will definitely get into O2 Arena at one point. But the most important thing is for those of you back home, um, go on to the GoFundMe page and put in your own little bit into the page that has been set up to support the IDP back home. Um, also share this page, invite as many friends. Thank you very much uh, for meeting your show at this one, yeah, for joining. I was watching you on Instagram this morning. You're looking more gorgeous and beautiful every time. I hope mom and dad are doing very well in Abekuta. High school in Abekuta and I was also uh, at the Hostel, Paragon, family of electro uh, shows. Once again, you're watching a live feed which is taking us into O2 Arena. Um, I'll be telling you some of the areas and the street so that you know as we're moving around, you have an idea where we are. But um, right now, as you can see, we've got more people walking. Um, we've got Daisy there and we've got the other four gentlemen that are still coming behind as well. Um, it is going to be a very beautiful walk. Uh, we are right now on Amishi Drive, SE26. And that is the journey that is taking us to somewhere, which is going to be the O2 Arena. Once again, you'll be watching these all the way through. But the most important thing is um, let us continue to give back to those that are really struggling, you know, not just in Nigeria, uh, we have a lot of our citizens that are living also in the United Kingdom that one way or the other their immigration status has not been sorted out and they are also requesting for all kind of assistance let's keep the camera so that we can have you know a view um, You can see there we're still moving forward going towards the O2 arena I'll show you more from behind as you can see we've got the umbrella it is a very cold weather it's also raining but um, that has not stopped us from doing what we've planned to do let us get more People talking, you can see a sheep talking there. 
this man on people's faces back from in Nigeria. You know? it's, a, it's a good thing really because to me, even though I'm not really feeling well, but I believe that anything that has to do with humanity, I always like to support. You know? Giving my time, also giving money. It doesn't have to be thousands of pounds. It does be, you know, little change. Just to change someone's life. Imagine what 10 pounds or 20 pounds can do to people back home in Nigeria. It's a lot of money. You know, to some people. Even one pound is a lot to some people back home in Nigeria. So Nigeria needs all of us. Like I said earlier, we need to start doing something now. We don't have to wait for the Nigerian government. Just like JF Kennedy said, ask not what you can do for your country. Ask what you can do. I mean, what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country, and that's what we're doing now. As you can see behind me, and in front, we have so many, you know, um, honorable Nigerians in the UK, especially in London, you know, we're doing this for Nigeria. And so, my brothers and sisters, I just want to implore you, whatever, any little thing that you can do to help that country, Nigeria needs all of us right now. Yeah. Because a lot of things has gone wrong. And we can't keep holding our hands. You know, we need to start doing something now. Please, I implore all of you. Thank you. God bless Nigeria. God bless all of you. You've heard it from the Kachif himself. You guys, come out in mass, support the cause. You know, don't ask what your country can do for you. What can you do for your country? Well, as you can see, we've got a few more people just behind us as well. Um, it's a steady walk, um, it's two hours precisely. Uh, this will take us into O2 Arena. Uh, let me just read the comment there. Um, this walk should have been for everyone. This IDP in her region across the continent, we match with you up in Manchester too. Well, it looks like someone has given us a wrong location. Um, we should have gone in a different way. Okay, I have to. Me, I'm not gonna go in there and fall down. I love myself. Oh. Uh, yes, and um, thank you very much. Uh, you know, for that comment. I'm sure the organizers will be. Let me just show you the camera. They're gonna move forward, and um, we are actually now. Um, this will lead us into. Uh, Woolwich Ferry for those of you that knows London very well thank you very much for joining Remy Azan and for those of you that have just logged in and wondering what is happening here is the IDP walk um, that is just taking place this is organized by the just a little help and as you can see um, we've got Daisy uh, she's the only female and I'm sure I have more female watching all over the world you can support and also uh, for those of you that also have different project that you've got um, between now and end of the year and you also need a life coverage uh, do reach out to me and we'll make sure uh, we can get this coverage at any time to the global audience once again my name is Ola Yomiko Ike it's a very quiet beautiful Sunday the weather is still raining and I've got the umbrella as you can see protecting the phone thank you very much for joining Adzoba Egbambobu if you're wondering what is happening here in London again it is the IDP walk that is actually taking place right now we're nine in total making this journey as you can see the um, Tense made cycle route to Erit, but we are actually going towards O2 Arena. We're going to be coming out from the Woolwich Ferry. Um, this is a very beautiful route. The car doesn't go through from here, only on emergency. But we have some very beautiful people. But I've decided we must give something back to the community back in Nigeria. Uh, as you can see on the other side there is the Woolish Ferry. 
I'm sure we've done about five minutes or ten minutes walk and I'm very excited because I know this also is gonna be reducing some of my carbohydrate that I've been eating since I came back from Nigeria once again thank you very much for joining my beautiful auntie at B Amor uh, we need to get in touch so that we can get some of the other things that we have you can see the beautiful what's the name of the dog what's the name Billy hello Billy you're part of okay well we're going the other way around thank you very much how many minutes have you been walking now 40 wow you can see the, um, you know the the advantage of walking the lady was just telling me she's been walking 40 minutes with her dog but right now we are also doing the same thing but for a good cause for the high dp let me so in the last few minutes uh let's switch the camera and speak to uh, my brother here. so what has been in the last few minutes um in, you know making this work so what well, has been your you well know? um if we could understand what people are going through hmm. in nigeria this work will be nothing to us hmm. because this work cannot be compared to what our our people are going through back home hmm. the weather is hot hmm. there's no supplies from the government hmm. there is no medical care there is nothing that um, is being supplied to these people so for me and for everyone here to do this work is to show that we know what you're going through and if you're there you want to be a part of us but you're not here you can actually go and support you can go onto the website idp website you put money on there this money is going to be used for good purposes so what is actually going on now is very cold it's freezing my hands are really cold hmm. okay but i'm here after a few minutes next one or two hours i can have a nice hot coffee hmm. or tea you know i can go home have a nice shower and go to bed but there are people that don't have these opportunities hmm. they can't do these things they are in desperate needs hmm. we need to help them hmm. we need to reach out to them hmm. so i'm happy doing what i'm doing right now i'm just to show my support and my love for people that are out there nigeria is in a very is a very terrible situation right now whatever little thing everybody can do try and do it if you're not here wherever your community is try and do something and i believe that if you all come together to show our little support things will be much better for all in our nation thank you wow thank you very much well you've had it there let's show you for those of you that are not in the country and those you know what foolish ferry that's the woolish ferry um this is where um i'm sure so many people have seen some of the videos well, what you're watching now, we're just coming towards that Woolwich Ferry itself. So if you're hearing Woolwich Ferry, Woolwich Ferry, this is actually um, the one called Woolwich Ferry that moves vehicles all the way from Southeast back into Canning Town. But right now, we're still making this beautiful walk into O2 Arena. Again, as usual, my name is Olayo Mikoiki, bringing it live to you as it's taking place right here the weather is extremely cold um, it's raining as well but uh, this is worth doing for those back home if you're thinking wow i would have loved to be part of this uh, there's going to be another one coming up very soon as well uh, we've still got a few more people that are also joining us as you can see there they've actually joined us along the the route it is cold extremely cold but um well, as you can see, um, as we're going towards O2 Arena, that is the beautiful, beautiful sightseeing as well. Um, once again, my name is Olayo Mikoiki. We can now watch all the videos of um, the tribute to Chief Alex Ifei Chuku Ekweme that was done in London. All the videos and the tribute, the event itself is now up and running.
on the YouTube channel. Also make sure you subscribe to that YouTube channel. But right now, as you can see, uh, these are Nigerians saying, regardless of the weather, regardless of the cold, we will get this going. Nothing is gonna change the plan because two million people are actually living in a very, very unconducive environment in the whole 36 states. Yes, we know there are also millions and millions of people that are internet displays all over the world. We will continue to highlight that as well. Uh, we know the situation in Nigeria is one that is actually in the minds of millions of people as we also should remember to bring our brothers keepers. Just a little help, we also be having a very beautiful um, immigration surgery coming up very soon on the 3rd of February 2018. Um, immigration is one big area that is affecting a lot of the Africans living right here in the United Kingdom. But well, once again, um, out of the two hours, I'm sure we've done over 20 minutes. So we are now on the countdown and that is still the beautiful sightseeing of Woolwich Ferry. If you, you want to be part of this, make sure you continue to invite friends and family and also go into the GoFundMe page so that we can get this going. Thank you very much, Abdul Latif, Abdullahi, for joining. Continue to share this page and also invite friends and family. This is the IDP Walk 2018. As you can see, we have, you know, quite a lot of um, people that are also doing great things. Let us continue to support each other. Again, that is a very beautiful scene. You've got people still walking behind us. As you can see there, we're just coming out very soon from the Woolwich Ferry. And then we hit the main road that will take us all the way down into the O2 Arena. O2 Arena is a very popular place in the United Kingdom. And we hope we will have a place called Utu Arena very soon in Nigeria. Right now, this is a, you know, a very beautiful walk on a Sunday morning, or Sunday afternoon rather. The weather is extremely cold. And this is a pathway uh, we took off all the way from Hemsmith. And I'm sure the weather is much better now. Maybe I might put my umbrella away. But uh, for the time being, I still have the umbrella protecting the phone from the weather. If you'd like to know more about just a little help, you can go on their Facebook page. Or if you also want to have a very beautiful coverage of your business, your event, also do reach out to us and we'll make sure uh, we have this um, let's move closer to uh, one of the let's just as we're walking um, so what has been your expectation I know the weather is not really on our good side today but what would you like to say for those that are watching us all over the world for those that are watching well, well, I'm happy that we have this, this number, despite the fact that the weather is not that good. Mm. But hopefully, I want you guys to come and join us. We're going through Woolwich, Woolwich Arsenal Station, um, Woolwich Arsenal um, Waterfront. You can come in there and join us. We're still there, we can make it. Guys, come in. Ladies, come in. Everybody's here. Join us. Well, thank you very much. Um, let's get close to one of the organizers of this very beautiful project uh, by the name of Prince Dapo Araromi. So, hello there, world. How are we doing? 
How are you enjoying your comfort zone? I believe it's beautiful. Yeah, we're here out here. This is our own comfort zone right now for the world, particularly for the homeless, displaced, internally displaced persons. And of course, for everybody sleeping rough or not having any roof over their head, this is for you. We're doing the bits we can to change the world, to make the world a better place by doing this power walk. It's not convenient. I should be in my duvet. I'm out here with a well meaning people out here um, to make a difference. To do six miles, uh, yeah, to just create the awareness and, of course, to raise fund so that um, we can help that one person out there, we can help that family out there, we can help the group of people out there uh, to make the world their own world a better place. Uh, can you tell the audience um, that are watching us and those that will be watching the video later on a little bit more about Just A Little Help? Fantastic. Just A Little Help uh, was uh, bothered for because uh, uh, about almost 10 years ago now, 2009 to be precise, for, it was actually set up 2010. Mm -hmm. um, because we found out that there are a lot of things uh, not right, not wrong we just can make a lot of difference in mm. the world that we're in mm. and this this name came just a little help that in every way you are you can make that little help it might just be that information it might just be that pound it might just be you being there for your brother or sister so we established this and um, um, we've been doing a lot of things ever since then We've been doing um, immigration surgery to create that awareness for people, particularly in UK. And what we found out is people are not well informed about how to go about their immigration status. So we came up with this surgery and it has been successful. Um, also, um, this particular one we're doing, we started it with uh, several organizations last year because we found out that how can we give back home? What can we do to make a difference? And um, yes, we started that last year, and it's a campaign that is going to keep on going on. And um, of course, we do give back to the elderly as well. Uh, every December, we identify different elderly that we want to go visit, and we support them with the little we can. And then um, we, we, we do campaign for the youth. So you see that we're like a one-stop shop, just a little help. We have four Canada points, reach out to the elderly, reach out to the youth, reach out to other organizations doing similar stuff and obviously reach out to 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 the less privileged okay so uh, I hope in a nutshell that what that's what just a little house stands for okay and uh, for those that are watching and um, wants to say i would like to support where should they be going today where should okay. they be going now great so i'm sure that um, if you go on to the top page you see the Go from page that has been specifically set up for this. By the way, this is going to run all through the year. So this is just the beginning, one of several walks that's going to happen all through the year. Um, and you can visit our page too. You can be a volunteer. You can go to www.justalittlehealth.org.uk. Click on there, it takes you on there. You can connect to be a volunteer. You can donate. So you can dedicate your time to support us because we have a lot of volunteers. We have organizations supporting us on this walk and of course you can donate your time as well uh where exactly are we now as we're walking we're all part of uh, london for That's those it. that are watching um globally and those that are watching in outside london or in london and thinking i've never seen such a very beautiful place okay. as we are where are we now exactly oh great so i'm not so good in, in fact i almost <laughs> lost my way earlier <laughs> so um funny enough i used to live around this side of town so to, to most people that know london or to the outside world, are people that know we're in south east of London and we're in Thamesmead. And Thamesmead is like a suburb, although it's a city now because it's a royal borough of Greenwich. So we're walking, funny enough, by the riverside that's River Thames. So, we're, when you if you can show them the River Thames, well, actually, so you can actually see the river. So, walking alongside the River Thames, trying to connect the main road. That will take us to um, O2. That's not Greenwich. That's, mm. Yes. So that's how we're, we're walking. I hope I've been able to explain it well. Well, thank you very much. Uh, let's thank catch you. up with, uh, you know, Doctor 
uh, Mr. Dayo Afolabi. Uh, it's been a very beautiful walk so far. If you just want to tell those that are watching us, um, how far are we now? <laughs> because yeah, it, looks guys. Like, it looks like we are not, uh, <laughs> we're still far away. We're still far away. Okay. We're walking along the Thames okay. towards our goal. We mm. will get there. It's not easy, but there's nothing we can do. Mm. We have to keep going. If you can't join us, go on the GoFundMe page. Give out your widow's might. Mm. Support them. Mm. Support us. Support yourself. Mm. Because these people belong to you. They are part of you. They are from your country. Mm. They are your home people. Your home generation. So any help goes a long way. I know you were in Nigeria um, last year, um, just before Christmas. I saw you. Uh, you traveled down to the IDP remote area. I, I have to mention that as well. It was a very remote area yeah. because I was listening to some of the conversation while you were in the car as well. Yeah, I was scared. Hmm. You know, when we are entering the bush, hmm. so wondering who sent me here. <laughs> but you know, it's something I signed on for. Hmm. That whatever it takes, I need to see these people. Hmm. And when you got to Abuja, you got into that IDP. What was your feelings like? Because you know, it's easy for people to see things on the Facebook, on the media, in the media print. What was the feeling as you were entering the IDP camp? And if you could remember the Toby's, name of the IDP Toby. camp for the, those that are watching. It's Durumi, Durumi camp. Mm. Seriously, it spoiled my day. Mm. Seeing those little kids running around, unaware what is mm. around them, what's happening to them, mm. what their future will be like. Mm. See them so dirty looking hungry but they are still smiling wow. you know wow. I think of my own kids living luxury here hmm. your own kids enjoying the best of life here somebody needs to be there for them hmm. so the, the mothers whose husband have been killed they've been raped they've been beaten they are hungry too hmm. you know wow. I make a vow that whatever it takes we will come back with more goods with more help hmm. that's why we are doing this wow. that we just have to be there wow um i know video don't lie hmm. go on our page you see the video yourself you see their classroom hmm. yeah so I, 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 was gonna touch, going I was gonna touch that uh, looking at some of those classroom their education a lot of our own children that are studying uh, you know, have the opportunity to have a good access education here. Uh, I think you need to touch on that education you aspect see? a little bit, please. Yeah. What we're thinking about the education is this. If every one of us can adopt to sponsor each of this child education, to whatever level we can do, it goes a long way. Hmm. Giving 20 pounds every month towards the education will not break anybody's bank. Hmm. And it goes a long way. Wow. I've decided I'm adopting three kids out of there to start with. Hmm. And um, you know, I believe when I give, I receive more. Wow. You know, I decided to do that. I've been talking to some individuals who are ready to come on board with me. Hmm. You can come on board too. Sponsor just one child. Hmm. You know, spare out a little change every month to hmm. help them. Wow. If you want to make it quarterly, it's fantastic. If you can't go there, we can go there. If you're scared, I'm no more scared. Hmm. Look at, go and look at where they are living. Hmm. You know, in the bush there. They were really suffering. Wow. So, if you want me to do this work every day, I'm ready to do it to raise money for them. Wow. I can't stop. You know, if I've not been there, maybe I might not know the gravity of what's happening to them. Hmm. I've been there myself. I've been with them. I've shake them, hug them, you know share food with them and there are some fantastic people there too hmm. doing a voluntary work hmm. the teachers there hmm. they are not being paid thank god we are able to give them some small money for themselves you know but we can do more wow. that's why we are calling on everyone go to the go fund each page no amount is too small i have been there the video you are seeing is not an internet video i am the person there i've seen them met them spoke with them made the woman there seriously they have suffering wow. we can't wait on the government government is me and you hmm. you know don't ask what can your country do for you think of what you can do for your country wow think of what you can do to alleviate these people's suffering 
Touch a heart. Save a soul. And God will be with you. Wow. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. You're still doing the work. Well, as you can see, uh, we still have you know, more people. Um, it looks like they're... I'm not sure they're getting tired, but they're probably just taking their time. Uh, I'm sure they will catch up with us. Uh, as you can see, it looks like we've got more people that have actually joined us as well as we're walking down to O2 Arena. Again, as usual, um, is the IDP Walk 2018 um, coming all the way through um, to you uh, on this very beautiful cold Sunday weather. Um, it is cold. Uh, that is my umbrella there. I have to use that to protect the phone. Um, we still also have so much happening within the Nigerian community. And there's the elderly maturity event um, happening next week, Friday, at the Back in Town Hall. We'll be bringing that live to you as well. The wind is actually trying to take away my umbrella. Let's show you uh, this particular, as you can see there, um, that is the Thamesmith route, Woolwich, Greenwich, by upper cycle but we are actually walking um, there's also an emergency ring 999 for the coast guard uh, that is still a very beautiful scene from the woolwich ferry um, once again uh, this is a very beautiful walk we've actually taken it down to i'm sure less than half an hour now since we started um, this is just another very beautiful location uh, in the hasp very close to Woolish Ferry is what you're watching right in front of you. Uh, if you're just joining us and you're wondering um, where are we, we're actually doing the IDP work. We still got a few more of us that are coming behind as well. Where you can see there, uh, Dazzling Dazzling, they've got DJ Kashif, which is also part of this work. Once again, uh, let us continue to do as much as we can to help someone even for those of you that are living outside the country check on your friends and your neighbors um, we've had so many cases of people dying inside the house because no one has checked on them uh, it's a very very cold winter uh, for those of you that are living as far as scotland it is extremely cold uh, i've been following some of the weather updates from scotland it is extremely extremely cold so if we can do to just visit or put a phone call to those around us so that we don't wait you know um, the government even united kingdom is not doing everything on their own they still need the support of the citizen to make sure that things are done properly and this is what we are doing uh, we are doing this at a very very uncomfortable as it is but if we are complaining we have millions of people all over the world that are going through all kind of difficulties as well. Um, so all the videos that we did for the 76 days I spent in Nigeria is now up and running on the YouTube channel Allah Yomi Koiki. Uh, make sure you continue to share that page and also as we're preparing for the other big project which is gonna be happening anytime soon. We will keep you up to date. But right now is the IDP work. The weather is extremely cold, and uh, but the most important thing is we are not allowing the weather to uh, stop us from doing what we've already planned to do today. Um, millions and millions of uh, people are all over the world displaced uh, due to uh, corrupt people, leaders, politicians, but we won't allow that to stop us from putting in and doing the right thing as we all know right there is still a few more people that are still working behind us uh, taking their time but we are still very close to the Woolwich Ferry right here in London we're walking all the way to O2 Arena where we expect to complete this journey in just about an hour plus or so I'm sure we've done over 30 minutes already we took off from Thamesmead. We're heading now towards the high road. But you will be able to see a very clear view. But right now, we're going through the, the very beautiful view. Um, this is what we are saying. 
um, Nigeria can have the same view like this if we have the right leaders that are thinking ahead of time. I don't believe two million people should be living outside within something that is not comfortable for them. But this is where we are. But um, I'm sure someone there might also think I might do my own little bit by going back and support. Um, you don't have to be in the government before you support what is happening in Nigeria. Uh, you can also support in every little way that you can. Um, the live coverage is coming all the way through to you uh, from no one but myself, Allah Yomiko Iki, bringing it live to you, uh, making sure um, all the project that is going to be happening before we come back to Nigeria, we're also capturing that as well to you. Uh, we were at the Chief Alex Ifeni Chuku Ikweme tribute that was organized by the friends of the Igbos, the friends of the Nigerian on Friday at the Aglincan Church. I'm sure a lot of you have watched that video. Uh, Monday, tomorrow also, uh, it's gonna be another very sad day for those of us in London, because the first chairman of Kanuk, uh, Obani, will be buried tomorrow uh, here in London. Uh, let's continue to pray for the souls of those that have departed but while we are still alive let's also support as many projects as possible not just only in nigeria but all over the world it's easy for us to sit down behind the computer desk and the smartphone that we all have in our possession millions of people in the idp doesn't even have access to a good toilet not to talk of a smartphone and this is the reason why just a little help that I've decided to visit the IDP camp in Abuja last year. I've decided to put in another very good initiative with this IDP work that you're actually witnessing right now. Um, the weather is uh, very, very cold. As you can see, everyone, you know, and it's also, and um, there's a bit of, you know, rain, but um, that has actually not stopped, you know, a lot of us, coming out to do our own little support as you can see uh, we need a lot of these beautiful views not just within the rich environment in Nigeria but all over the 36 states we need the government to continue to make life comfortable for their citizen we also need the government to continue to put in the right things in place so that um, we will have less ritual killings. There's so many ritual killings as we know in Nigeria. But right now, um, if you also want us to make your event or your program, come live on Facebook, uh, do get in touch with me and we'll make sure we do that. Uh, that is a very beautiful view as you can see there. And that is Woolish Ferry uh, right there. As you can see, this connects you from this side into Canning Town. As you can see, it's a very beautiful scene. See not? Uh, I'm sure a country that doesn't have as much we have that we have now on Tisley Path S28. For those of you wondering where or where are we now, uh, we will be coming into the main road in just about a few minutes. Once again. Uh, I've been enjoying this beautiful work myself and I would also like to say thank you to my big brother that sent me the power bank that you're all able to enjoy this live coverage if not as we all know all the smartphone drains as quickly as possible for those of you that have joined why not also invite your friends have you been to that GoFundMe page that has been set up uh, or you might be thinking I won't do anything, but I will just sit down behind the fence. Um, if every one of us sit down behind the fence and no one is doing something, they're always going to help. As you can see there, that is some of the signpost saying Thames Mid Cycle, as you can see, right there, uh, Woolish and Thames Barry, and that also London Cycle heading to Plumstead and by Crown Court. 
but right now we will be coming into the main road that will then lead us all the way to O2 Arena for those of you that have just joined thank you very much um, BC quality for joining we also like to say a big thank you to Showball Ayokunle we want you to invite your friends share the page as you're watching as well um, you might be wondering what is happening here is the IDP walk as you can see from the headline of this live coverage we've actually done over 30 minutes now of this walk but we still have an hour or so to take us into O2 Arena it's a very beautiful Sunday January IDP walk I've just started there's still gonna be more of these I've been told this is just one in many to come um, do you have also an NGO and you want me to be able to bring that to the members of the public also do reach out to us and we will do that as well right now it is the IDP work thank you very much for joining uh, Jabel Crown uh, we are still on this very beautiful walk taking us into O2 Arena we will also use this to show you some of the beautiful scene as you can see there um, dangerous water keep out um, but right now it looks like uh, we got more people catching up with us all the way from the back it is a very beautiful Sunday if you want to know more about just a little help you can visit just a little help on their Facebook page or www.justalittlehelp.org.uk and you will find out more of what they've done in the past and more of their program coming up uh, in 2018. Right there is the Woolwich Ferry, a very beautiful one. Thank you very much, Agzoba Taiwo Akitunde, for joining us all the way from Lagos. I tend to tell people all the time, uh, those people that watch us on all the videos all the way from Nigeria, the data is very, very extremely expensive. Expensive, um, but yet we have a lot of viewers watching us all the way from Nigeria. Uh, I've said it so many times. The government needs to make sure that um, you know at least one hour free of data usage to all the university students in Nigeria. Uh, a lot of people are also taking a walk. But your actual view in front of you is where it's called the Woolish Ferry. Uh, what happened is there's a very big, massive boat that carries cars all the way from this side into Canning Town. Uh, we've got more people catching up with us, as you can see. And we still got a few more people just behind us as well. It is the IDP work. 2018 bringing it live to you thank you very much for joining Tunji Alade can you invite your friends and family and tell them just a little help is doing giving back to the high TP just a little help was in Nigeria last year and they're also looking to do more this year to support you know some of these big projects to uh, we will continue to bring you this live coverage all the way through to O2 Arena. We're fully prepared. I am cold myself, but I'm also happy doing something, giving back to the community back in Nigeria. Let's give you some of the view of London. Um, you can see somebody also doing a very beautiful um, early afternoon jogging um, this is what we are saying we need the government to make life comfortable for everybody uh, Kenzo, you said I shouldn't call you Omo Nigeria anymore <laughs> I spoke to you while I was in Nigeria I won't mention the name of the country you want me to call you I believe you are still in Nigeria even though you have to say 
We don't want to be called on Nigeria anymore. Nigeria is still our home. Yes, a lot of things is wrong in the country. I was there myself. I spent 76 days. There's no electricity. There's no full access to the internet. Um, security, as you can see, there's also a lot of um, rubbish all over Lagos. Uh, the Lagos State Governor says they're doing everything to bring all these menace into control. But right now, I'm sure Kenzo, you will remember Woolish Ferry very well. Uh, I'm sure this is not a strange place for you. Uh, but for my other viewers that are watching, can you just do me a favor by going into the GoFundMe page that has been set up and put in, no matter how little, it will go a long way with this work that we are doing on behalf of the two million Nigerians and a lot of internal displaced people all over the world. The weather is extremely cold, but it looks like as we are walking, we are getting warm. Uh, let's continue to give you, as you can see there, there's a lot of people uh, still coming behind us. But right now, we're still on the IDP walk 20. 18. Just a little help is one of the um, charity organizations that was set up in the United Kingdom almost nine years ago. They've been giving back to the elderly, to the also supporting other charity as well. Uh, but uh, right now, we're embarking on the first phase of the IDP work. 2018. I've been told there's going to be more of this. Royal Asna Woolwich. That tells me we are coming up onto the main road very soon. Thank you very much for joining. Tunji Alade. I want you all to please share the video, invite your own friends as well, and also be supporting um, you know, this beautiful project right there. It says Tensmith Cycle Road, Woolish, and Tensmith Barrier. We will be heading into the main road in just about a few minutes. As you can see, it is a beautiful walk. We've done over half an hour, I'm very sure. The estimate arrival time should be another one hour or so into O2 Area. A lot of these men have left their house, left their family, left their own children to partake in this beautiful walk. Um, what you should be doing for those of you that are watching us is to now go into the GoFundMe page and put in something to support just a little help so that um, we can have you know these projects delivered as quickly as possible to those that are internally displaced back home in Nigeria. We are now coming on to Maliboro Road, SE18, Royal Asna. Again, thank you for joining. Aliputa Peter. And for those of you who have not been able to mention your name, you might probably want to say hello by putting in something in there and then we'll be able to recognize you uh, if you just want to also say something or you if you want to join the program let me know and i will invite you as well and you could be part of this program as well once again um, that is still the very beautiful well, I'm sure we won't be lost. Next time you go allow the lad to make a carrying car. I'm sure uh, that is the beautiful scene. More people still coming behind as well. If you want to join us and you're thinking, where are we now? We are coming out of the Woolish Roundabout. And then, um, where you see there? Do not climb on the wall, danger of injury, strong current, and deep water. You can see the beautiful uh, duck in the water. It is a very beautiful environment. 
and this is exactly what we should be expecting in Nigeria we should not be seeing these only outside the country we need the government you know Lagos State all the inner roads are still nothing to write them about um, I was able to travel around all the you know the back routes I'm not talking about the main road that are still not even fixed properly you know all the street you know are not motorable at all we need the government to invest in infrastructure infrastructure is the only thing that will make people have long life we need the hospital we need the education to be sorted out uh, we cannot have two you know i was watching channels news yesterday and they seem to be happy that we still have eight million of youth that are still not in education right now um, they're glad that they've been able to take off one million out of the 10 million um, I believe we shouldn't be having that figure of 8 million of our citizens that are still out of education. Once again, we are still live at the IDP work. Let's get more views from those that have been also on this journey with us.